Um, so we'll jump into um, data enrichment first, give you a quick demo. So when you're setting up um, data enrichment, the first thing you need to do is come into your settings and type in enrichment. And you'll see in CRM tools, there's an option to enrich records. You have to turn this on for specific the specific user types in your system, whether you have templates across um, teams or everyone has their unique settings. Because again, this is a paid for tool. So you really want to lock down who's got access to it and they're not going wild and spending all your credits in the system. Um, and there, so once you've turned that on, you can then head over to another section to help you set it up, which is in the back end settings of your data enrichment, where you can see how many credits you have at the top. So um, in this round, we'd spent three of our 100. Um, then you can choose whether you want to turn on to automatically enrich new records. So every time a new one comes in, it spends one credit to enrich them or to be manually enriched. So you always decide if they're going to be enriched or for continuous enriching of records, which will spend through your credits as you enrich that information, but then leads to really consistent data in your system, which can be great for lead scoring and other techniques. Um, so once you've set that up, you then go over to a contact or a company profile. Hopefully you'll all recognize this as your record view. Under where the name is, you've got the actions tab, which will show your properties, but at the bottom you can click enrich record. And this is when your credit is spent. So as soon as you click that, you've spent your credit and then it shows you the 12 properties that you have an option to enrich. So you can either just click all of them and enrich it with them. It's only one credit, no matter how many properties you select. Um, and then they all added into your system. So if you think there's any inaccuracies or properties you don't use, you can unclick them. And once you've done that, you then can see in your central view of your record in the activity tab, you can filter just for enrichment. And once you've clicked on that and applied the filter, you can then see a timeline view of all the properties that are enriched. So over time, if, you're, if new information becomes available and you re-enrich, you'll be able to see that history. Then the last piece that's really useful is your intelligence tab, which you can see at the top there, overview activities and intelligence. This can be seen by everyone, whether or not they have that setting to enter the data enrichment tool. Um, so the rest of your team members can come and benefit from their, um, from the data that's been enriched and from their intent data as well in this view. Um, so as, as we've talked through, so you can enrich contacts, you can enrich companies, um, you can set up automated enrichment. You can also set up bulk enrichment. Um, there's a one-off cost um, to enrich um, a whole a big section of your contacts. Um, and then again, you can choose your new records, continue enrichment um, across anything like role, employer, location, social media links. Um, just slightly different depending where you are and what information it has uh, access to. Here's a list of the properties that can be enriched um, that you can take away from this presentation um, to inform your enrichment strategy. Um, yeah, Sarah, I know you've been using it with our sales team. So what kind of impact have we seen there? Oh, you're on mute. Thank you. So <laughs> we were using um, tools that were overwhelming our CRM with duplicate data, and it actually made it difficult to effectively target our prospects and drive revenue. We were reliant on a few workarounds to accurately capture and tend segment leads and use the enriched data. Um, with other enrichment tools, we were spending um, time and money for uh, okay results. And with these new enrichment features, the price is really comparable. And we've had it set up in just under a day. Um, so for us, it's been super easy to adopt. Um, and then um, to get the most out of your data enrichment, we actually recommend connecting it to your lead scores, like um, Poppy mentioned, to make sure that um, your lead scores are being um, 
are considering those new enrichment data. Uh, integrate this data into your content strategy as well, so it doesn't have to be just for sales, and then improve it, and then use it to improve your targeting and personalization of your campaigns. The other part that we've seen it is it can enhance your existing workflows and automations with better data to deliver stronger uh, results. One of the caveats that we'll see, which will come up in the form shortening, is that phone numbers and email addresses won't be enriched. So that's just um, something to consider.